um, it has to be that uh, it is seen that the normal activities of life are not contrary or in conflict with uh, your own realization of the truth, isn't it? Because there has been some fear in people that it's a huge sacrifice. It's one or the other. And so, uh, farewell, world. <laughs> you know. And uh, it's, it's terrifying for some people that, you know, because they imagine they're going to get sucked into some black hole and pop out the other hand as a Buddha, but then <laughs> goodbye to everything I knew before. And there's something beautiful uh, about this freedom that everything is as it's always been, but maybe seen from a clearer place and from a place of peace and uh, that you are not easily overwhelmed by the activities that we call life. They arise in your presence and, uh, and uh, uh, something does not have to be so hurried. But even if hurrying takes place, it's okay because it doesn't move out of awareness. And that has been uh, the atomic secret that everything is taking place in, in, in awareness. And as soon as you realize that that was the whole, the whole uh, uh, purpose of your search was to find that out, and having discovered that, or being in the discovery, or the discovering of that, somehow uh, there is an ordinariness, not about awareness itself, because I say it is neither ordinary nor extraordinary. It's beyond every description. But perhaps there's an ordinariness about life, even if it sometimes appears to be extraordinary. But the important thing is that you are not phased by uh, the activities. And uh, your eyes uh, become clear, crystal clear when it needs to be clear about anything. And I say this because there is not that we have to be clear about everything. There isn't everything to be clear about. And the clarity only is in ref reference to your being, that it is silent and still. Uh, not as a, a position taken, but simply because that's how it is.